Hey, we are outside. Uh, we were doing a get ready with me today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. I'm sorry, I'm apologizing in advance. I'm in New York visiting family. And well, the lighting is not great. I didn't really think the lighting situation good. Brought my gimbal, <laughs> didn't bring the tripod for the gimbal. So I had to have my phone propped up so the angle's not the best. But if y'all really, you know, support your girl, you will watch this video. Uh, Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share. But stay tuned if you guys wanna see how I got this look. I'm at my aunt's house in New York and I had to improvise. I brought my gimbal, didn't bring the stand. I don't know how that happened because they're supposed to be in the same bag, but hopefully by now y'all see the finished look. Is this thing tilting? It is, I'm gonna have to hold this in my hand, but I'm per usual pressed for time. I've done my eyebrows, I'm not doing any eyeshadows, really like a simple for the most part look. Here my little 20 inch ponytail. I decided to wait to put it in later. I had two things to go to. One family and then one my cousin's friend. You know the one I went to Houston with. I will show y'all the finished look. Probably at the event. I'm going to edit later tonight. Because our video tomorrow we're going to see this into existence. It is going to be on time. But hopefully y'all can see a little bit of the angle. Go in. I'm just doing a dot of the other concealer. Here, my little blending brush. I brought fresh lashes. You know, something when I don't reuse lashes, y'all. So, hopefully, the lighting not too bad. You know, I'm trying to make sure that I film content for you guys. And we're making noise. Alright, I'm going here. I love you. Hopefully, y'all appreciate me. You know, I'm trying to bring something new to y'all. Hopefully the lighting is not like too terrible. You know, I'm working with what I have. I'm on, I'm on vacation, but you know, I need food. I know I brought my setting powder. <laughs> that much I know I brought. I wasn't sure if I brought my, um, my other powder, but I know for a fact I brought my setting powder. I gotta find the brush to do a loose set. You know, I got all my makeup in this bag. This is my travel bag now. Cause y'all know I had like that MAC makeup kit and I still have it, but I just, all my makeup is just, it just sits in my vanity. It's just so much easier when I'm doing my makeup just to be able to see everything. So I seldomly take it out. All right, the rest of the video I'm not gonna talk cause you know I'm pressed for time. I'm like really good at this makeup stuff. Cause if I wasn't, Little things like this, little setbacks like this, would like really, really throw me off. But I am a firm believer, you guys have always heard me say, is like, you know, I'm gonna use what I got to make it look good. Like when I did my cousin's makeup at Boat Ride, like, you know, I didn't have like all the colors, all the tools. Like, it looked good. I felt like it could look better because I'm just like OCD like that. But, you know, I just feel a certain way about things. seen this girl on TikTok, Instagram. No, no, I double up on blushes, right? She had, it wasn't like doubled up on the blushes. She had um, like an orange and a pink mix. And as much as I've mixed it, I've never thought about mixing an orange and a pink. You know, it looks so fire. It looks so fire. When I tell you it looks so fire, y'all. Trust me, y'all know if I tell y'all it looks good, it looks good. 
I sent it to my bro April. Shout out to her. You know, Matt girl. But yeah. I forgot to put on blunt, which is my dry contour. It's all good. Not worry about it. We just gonna use a sponge to apply the brush, the blush, because I mean, that's where we at right now. Ooh. Ooh. That should be applied better, if I do say so myself. I'm going to be forgetting to brush more often, just in general, because it looks, it's so much more pigmented. Seeing something here, we're seeing something. I'm gonna get my stop lines. Just blend it out. I'm just going in here. Because if you don't, because I have a uh, concealer on my lid, if you don't put something on there, it, like, it'll look greasy and it'll crease. Now, granted, I'm really going for like a glowy look. Y'all gonna see this. When this, yeah, when this look hit, I tell you this look gonna hit. Alright, y'all know the looks so crazy. Did I do my dry contour? I didn't know. That's alright. I'm going to have to go back in and fix that anyway. I'm just going right there. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Because y'all know I've been doing this, right? Yo, it's so different. I'm putting on makeup. I'm going to bed. I've done it in a while. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna comb these hairs up just a little bit more because I'm right now. I love this one brow right here. But the other side, it's alright. It's not my favorite. Y'all thought I was on the highlight? Oh y'all already y'all should already know. I go crazy with the highlight over here. We are going to go in. Y'all already know. Warm stroke by NYX. If you haven't copped it yet, what are you waiting for? It's the perfect addition to whatever highlighter routine you think you got. Um, I'll see that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit much, but that's all good. I'm going to tone it down. I'm always going to here and do this because I never like for it to look like harsh up under my eye. That's the face, y'all. That is the face. Mm -mm. Now we're gonna go in. Last step. Well, two last steps. <gasps> Yo, I did. Did I bring? Oh, please tell me I brought my under eye color. I don't feel like I did. Yo, I'm so mad at myself right now. I really don't feel like I did. I'm like almost certain I didn't. It's all good though. Y'all know under the uh, the waterline, I always go in with like that um that brown color. But we got the Anastasia Brown Beverly Hills Brow Powder, so we gonna use this under the eye because we gotta make it work. We gotta make things move and shake, baby. We make it move and shake. Make it do what it do. Cause we ain't got a choice. <laughs> it's pretty really with this. The lip gotta go up, and I wanna wear a red lip. But the lipstick that I wanna wear, the brush for it, it broke. I didn't bring a lip brush. So we gonna have we gonna have fun with this. We gonna we gotta figure out what to do. We gonna get it done though. Right, we gonna press this setting powder in with this beauty blender. I'm gonna go in with my nose, my dry contour nose brush. Cause my nose contour be like disappearing. There's nothing. Well, there's probably excess product on the brush, but I didn't put anything more on here. And I'm just rubbing that into my nose. Because that's the other thing that's disappearing to my nose contour. I'm going to rub this out. And that's different. I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see. This is a face. Real, real cute, real simple, real glowy. Y'all know how I do. And I gotta do. 
Now I gotta do under the eye. And, oops. And you're a content get the tripod for your gimbal. So I'm going under the wood line. We're gonna do the same one I used for my eyeshadow. Right under here. Let's talk about these lashes, y'all. Look at this, look at this face, look at this skin. Sitting. Now this really is lipstick I wanna wear, but it's like it's stuck in there. But this color is, every time I wear this color, I get so many compliments. But it's just like getting it out be the problem. Mm. All right, that could work. That could really work right there. It look a little crusty. But nobody shouldn't be that close to me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should be that close to okay. them. I'm so because I'm doing a new lip. Don't when I do a red lip, it be like, mm. You know, the color, this color hitting. All right, let me get these glasses on so I can bust it. Look at that, y'all. Red lip just do something different for me. Like y'all, if y'all ain't, this is like one of my go-to looks. No eyeshadow look. I'm low-key tempted to wear a red lip to the event that I'm going to on Saturday because y'all see this red be looking at? Y'all be hitting when I'm talking about it. Hitting it and hitting. So my hair company that sent me hair and it wasn't raw and they sent that lip gloss. The best part of the deal was the lip gloss. Look at that. Y'all follow along. It's makeup. Let's show you the outfit. Same white top from the full ride. I ain't got no problem repeating the outfit. None whatsoever. I'm really living like that. Y'all don't be mad. Y'all know I'm gonna get time to film the finished outfit. So this is the look. I look so tired. I've been to prioritize sleep. I haven't been sleeping in the past like two weeks. Um, but we have these shorts that y'all see me pick up from She and this top is from Meshki. I wore this last time I went out. What the shorts looking like. They're cute, comfy. I got on these shoes that I got from Payless a long time ago. And then this is my everyday summer bag because I had time to change the other bag that I had that I would wear. It's already packed up and ready for me to go out on Saturday. But comment down below. I know you gotta spend a lot of money to look good. Accessories mean more. I love these shorts, y'all. They come through. The only thing is that they keep riding up. I think this is the material, but top tier, top tier. So if you guys are not already subscribed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Help me grow. Uh, we're on our way to 10K. That, that wraps up uh, this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.